What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video and in this one what we're going to be talking about is the fastest way to start living off of dividends, how to do this effectively and we're also going to be talking about six different stocks and ETFs that provide high yields. We've got a lot to go over in this video so before I do go any further I ask that if you do enjoy it do you make sure you give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe. You turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos. I'm trying to be as transparent as I can. I'm showing you guys I'm currently in the building process of a huge dividend portfolio. It's going to be absolutely incredible. I'm going to be giving out for 100% free. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that future stuff. But let's get into this video. So first off, we're going to be kind of going over like the basics and what you have to do to live off these dividends. So first off, what you need to do is pretty obvious. Find some stocks and ETFs that have high dividend yields, which is pretty obvious, and have a solid future and outlook. What that means is you don't want to fall into the yield trap. A lot of companies and a lot of stocks nowadays often provide high dividend yields, but their share price decreases in value. For example, AT&T. I want to say they have like a 7% dividend yield, but they fall and they fall and they fall. They're down like 5 10% just this year, which is insane stuff. So make sure the stocks provide increase in share price and yield. You want to make sure that the stocks are consistently paying these dividends and preferably increasing these dividend payments. And next up, you need to be consistent and continuously and persistently add money to your portfolio as often as, often as possible. And lastly, a nice little bonus to do is find an extra stream of income like a side hustle, a part-time job, anything like that that can help you build your portfolio as big and big as you can and as soon as possible. So we're just going to be going over a few different stocks and ETFs. And here's a list of some of the high, high yielding stocks and ETFs that we're going to be talking about. First up is NUSI, then QYLD, RYLD, JEPI, MO, and O. These four are e actually ETFs, and these two are individual stocks. So let's get into these. So first up is ticker NUSI, Nationwide Risk Managed Income ETF. So currently what this is, what this ETF is, is they are an actively managed portfolio of stocks in the NASDAQ 100 index and they're an options caller, meaning here's what they do. They sell call options, so what they do is they sell call options, yet they also buy put options on stocks in the NASDAQ 100. They only invest in the top 100 largest by market cap, which are non-financial on the NASDAQ. So what they do is they take these NASDAQ 100 stocks, they buy them, and then they sell options. And these options that they sell, they collect a premium. And so with that premium they collect, they pay you out in that dividend. And they also buy puts in order to manage their risk in case a, an event of a crash, a correction, a market, anything like that. They have these puts so that they won't lose as much value and that they kind of hedge against any bad correction or downfall in the market. So this, this stock right here, this ETF, is currently up year to date 1.27% which is slightly slow, but they do have a dividend yield of 7.71%, which brings their grand total year to date 9.47%, which is pretty solid, up just below 10% on the entire year, which is pretty good returns, especially in an ETF. And you're getting those consistent guaranteed gains with it because they are paying those dividends. Over the past year, they are up 4.39%, which is semi-good, but remember, we're including that dividend yield so four plus seven is about 11 plus the points you get about 12 percent one year returns which are pretty solid returns next up we'll see right here they have a dividend growth record of one year annual payout of two dollars and 15 cents per share so looking on their dividend history sorry about all the mouse clicks i actually just ordered a new mouse uh this one is a little loud but i did get a new one so it should be coming in like today tomorrow when it's quiet so the videos will have no mouse clicks in the future but what we'll see right here is they pay these dividends on a monthly basis. Pretty solid, about 17, 18 cents per share. And then they do about 19 cents, having some slight increases. However, we can see COVID crash happened and they did not pay a dividend that February. But that's okay. We can see they are consistently increasing in paying these dividends over the past year. Next up, we're going to be looking at Global X NASDAQ 100 Covered Call ETF QYLD. They are pretty much the exact same thing is NUSI, however, they sell call options and they don't buy puts. So they're a little bit riskier. The only difference between these two is that QYLD actually offers a higher yield. However, with this accounted for, 
their current and year-to-date daily total return is 6.57% because we can see year-to-date they are in the red. We'll see right here on the past year-to-date they are down 1% and their yield is roughly 10%. So they are down over the past year. But what we'll see is over the past whole year since October, they're up 3.72%. Their dividends right now paying out a nice dividend yield of 10.45%, dividend growth record of two years, and an annual pay for share of $2.36. Looking on their past dividend history and dividend payments, what we'll see is that they are paying these on a monthly basis. Kind of volatile over the place. Some dividend payments are $0.24, cents, some are 22 and some are 19 So really the main, main key is that you're getting these dividends on a monthly basis and you're reinvesting these dividends. You need to be reinvesting those dividends. I can't stress that enough. The difference in between reinvesting dividends and non-reinvesting dividends is huge. Okay, Whenever you reinvest your dividends, you make way better gains. And furthermore, I think dividend investing has an emotional aspect to it partially. And when you reinvest those dividends and the next payment is bigger and the next payment after that is even bigger than the past one, it makes you emotionally more stable in your investments and confident. Like, would you rather see a $500 payment from QILD or would you rather see a $20 payment from XYZ, from like Apple? And it's different, it varies the growth, it depends on your investing style, but if you're strictly looking for dividends right off the bat, you need to be chasing high yield, but also not just chasing the yield, chasing value and the increase in share price. The next ETF we're going to be talking about is Global X Russell 2 2000 covered call ETF. Pretty much the same thing, except they're in the Russell 2000, not just the Russell NASDAQ 100. So what does this company do? Same exact thing. They sell covered calls and they take those covered call premiums and then they pay it out in a dividend as a with a yield of 11.11%. .11 which is a very, very high yield. Year to date, they're up 17.57%, which are nice, nice gains. Year to date, they're up alone 10.34%, and very, very solid future ahead of them. What we'll see, just to give you guys a little bit of a better look, is RYLD tracks a market cap selected and weighted index, along with call options for the underlying index. Now, why might they be performing so well recently? Simply because of the fact that the Russell 2000 has actually done pretty well because you've got stocks like GME, AMC in the Russell 2000 with all the volatility that we've seen. It's added some gains into the market for the Russell 2000. Now, looking on some more stuff for this, you'll see their dividend yield 11.65%, an annual payout just below $3 a share, and dividend growth record of two years. Now, these dividend growth records are a little bit small, but it's because these companies, these ETFs are brand new. You know. This one got initiated in 2019, and selling these covered call ETFs are a little bit of a newer thing. Looking on some more stuff, their dividend history, we'll check out what these payments are looking like recently. They are looking pretty solid, increasing ever since 2020, 16 cents, paying on a monthly basis, increasing and increasing to 25 cents per every single share. But let's talk about the next ETF, which is JP Morgan Exchange Trusted Traded Fund Trust. JP Morgan Equity Premium Income ETF, JEPI. So what this company does, what this ETF does, is they sell those covered calls on stocks in the S&P 500, and they use a process to identify value stocks with favorable return characteristics along with environmental, social, and government considerations. After selecting the securities, they will then sell covered calls on these companies, and then what they'll do is they'll provide you with that income. So what they do, they enter equity linked notes to provide returns of the SP 500 index with the covered calls. So, a little bit different, but they're not as volatile. What we'll see right here is that their year to date total return is not calculated. It's a little bit different. So, if we do those calculations ourselves, year to date they're up 9.7%. And with the yield, I did the calculations, it got me 17.08% returns. And JEPI is probably my favorite ETF out of the four that we talked about today. And I do like it. You know, the yield might not be as super high, but I like to see the increase in value and share price. That is one thing that I very much rather pursue. I would, it sounds crazy, but I'd rather have like a 10% increase in value and a 5% yield rather than just like a 15% dividend yield and a 0% increase in value. I like to see the value in there. It gives me better feelings about my portfolio and a better emotional aspect when it comes to investing like that. We'll look right here. The dividend yield, 7.38. 7 
give you an annual payout of $4.51 per share and a dividend growth record of one year. Looking on the dividend history, we'll see $0.34, cents, $0.34, cents, a little bit volatile. It's a little bit hard to tell with these ETFs also because the premiums are, they, they range in how much they make on these premiums. Some months they might make a big premium, some months they might not make much premium. So they kind of are not as stable as a company who's getting subscription revenue and projecting forecast sales like that they can't be as solid and be as like consistent on their own road as that it's going to be a little volatile with these ETFs you're going to be getting different dividend payments but the main thing that matters is that you're getting dividend payments now let's talk about two individual stocks that I believe are very very beneficial for your dividend portfolio first up is Altshare Group Inc ticker MO so they currently have a dividend yield of 7.48 percent a one-year target estimate of $55 per share and what we'll see right here is this company they have a bunch of different assets they hold diversified positions across tobacco, alcohol, and cannabis, and they're actually kind of to, trying to move beyond smoking, helping people with their nicotine addictions in a healthier manner, I guess we could say. But they own Marlboro, which is a leading cigarette brand, Copenhagen, Joel, Kronos Group. I have a 10% investment in a global beer industry leader. So huge upside potential with this company. Over the past year, they're up 22%. Year to date, we're up 18.8%. You add that yield, 18 plus 7, 25 plus little decimals, you get 26% year to date returns on average. However, over the past five years, we are down 22%. But with this dividend yield, 7.48%, we'll just go with the 7 times 5, 35%. You are still, you should be returning about 30, 13% on your shares if you were to invest five years ago. There's been a lot of difference and a lot of controversy in this company, which is why I have it in my portfolio, but I don't own a lot of it. It's not a huge chunk in my portfolio because it's a little bit of a risk with the market that they're in, the different things that they have to deal with. And so the industry and the economy can very much so affect this company, but I do believe it deserves a position in your portfolio, not financial advice. They currently have a five-year growth rate at 8.59%, a dividend growth streak of 52 years, a payout ratio of 78% and a dividend yield of 7.48%. Looking on their dividend history, we'll see right here. They are consistently increasing these dividends. They pay them on a quarterly basis. Year over year, we are consistently seeing nice dividend growth for this company. And now let's talk about the last stock on the list, which is ticker symbol O, Realty Income Corporation. Currently with a one-year target estimate of 78.38% and a dividend yield of 4.03%. Not as high as many of the other stocks we've been talking about, but I do believe Realty Income should have a nice position in your portfolio. We'll see right here on some more stuff. They are very, very solid on their investments. They are a dividend aristocrat, meaning they've been increasing these dividends for 25 plus years. We can see it's about 26 years, I believe, Realty Income said. They have a 15.3 CAGR ever since their 1994 New York Stock Exchange listing and a 4.4% CAGR on their dividend since 1994. Looking on some more stuff, over the past year, they're up 16.22%. In year-to-date, they're up 13.16%. With a dividend yield of 4%, gives you a little bit over 17% returns, which are pretty solid in my opinion. A market cap of $27.16 billion. Now, Realty Income is like one of the top reads. I've made a huge, I've made a deep analysis on this company. You can go check it out. I will put a card up right now so that you'll see this video. But... That's what I like about Realty Income. Looking on some dividends, you'll see 81.82% is their payout ratio. Dividend growth, it says 24 years on Seeking Alpha. However, Realty Income says 26 and a five-year average growth rate of 3.54% on their dividend. Looking at their dividend history, they are a monthly paying dividend company. So what we'll see is these are pretty solid dividends increasing year over year, which we always like to see. Here's a list of all those stocks. But guys, that's what I have for you in this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to give this one a thumbs up and you subscribe, you turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos. I'm trying to give you guys as much value as I can, helping each other build our cash portfolios, dividend portfolios, passive income. I always like to see what you guys are doing, what you guys are thinking. So make sure to leave a comment if you're buying any of these ETFs or stocks. I'd like to see your input. Again, thank you so much, and I'll see you at the next video.